Wow, what that was a... Body. Skeptical. <laughs> All right, without further ado, in this best of five now, it's been best of five the whole time, but in the bottom side of the map, it is from Team Esk Goody. On the right side, it is our Korean Protoss player. I would love to say still unbeaten to hype it up, but by now, he's beaten. <laughs> he's, he's... It is our yellow Protoss player, Arthur. Indeed it is. Their master race, Protoss. Yeah, PvP finals, interesting. But we got two really strong Protoss players though. Like former Brood War Professional Goody and former Brood War Professional Arthur. And these are the only two former Brood War Professionals. Except for Lelush, but Lelush had to go. That was playing. Yeah, that's kind of sad. Because I think... Nah, I think Lelush would have lost against Goody. Yeah, I really, be, really think. Lelosh dominated the the one he played in though, but it was mostly as easy. Lelosh is pretty good. This is what I kind of like about Starbo. Like when some random pro gamer just joins and plays, you never know if it's going to be the next Bon Job Starbo or not because it's like the player pool is so small and the experience is so limited, so it's really hard to tell. It's not. Like if it's France card, Dirty Bag, and and the Red Bandit playing, you, you kind of know what to expect. But when you got these players joining in, you never really know what to expect. I mean, Dirty Bag. I would say Dirty Bag was the first double bond ride. If I would have to pick. Yeah, I agree. But it never really got to shine that much because you had all these other contestants coming and going like Beastie Cutie. No. Beastie Cutie was kind of the first Bonja, actually. Uh, uh, yeah. No, actually, never, he the never was first, strong enough in the scene. Too. The first Star of Bonja, and he was a true Bonja in the sense of the word that he was in incapable of being beat, was uh, Pecuni at the at the time. No one could beat Pecuni for the longest time in Star Wars. Danko was the only one who was getting close, but he was only getting... Oh, wow. Really Perfect scout. Hmm? Really Danko? Yeah. He was really good back then. And well, maybe the player levels was just different too. I, would, uh, I wouldn't have thought that. Mm -hmm. I mean, about Danko being uh, considered as a Bonja. No, Danko wasn't a Bonja, but he was the only one who could somewhat contend with Bakunai, but Kuhunai was leagues better than everyone. And then Hyder came and. Hyder, perhaps. Uh, well, Hyder would invest a lot of time in Stabo, I think yeah. he would uh, be one of the best players, probably. Yeah, not better than Dirty Bag though, but slightly slightly worse. Oh, I like this little... Okay, enough about former Star Wars people you probably never heard of before. Uh, Arthur hiding a probe out in the bush, which is uh, which is a t technique he learned from the Africans. Uh, <laughs> the African Star Wars players. <laughs> yes. We, <laughs> we go hide in bush. They can't but see us there. Okay. But that's a really good strategy. If you would, uh, for example, hide your, hide your uh, probe here behind a tree. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. a free. The players might see this. Just saying. Oh. I'm not sure if they do, though. I have no clue if they do. Okay. Like... like <laughs> don't ask. I have no idea if don't they ask. Do. Don't ask. Did you see that, that thing on the mini map? <laughs> no, don't okay, ask. Okay, so we see three gates oh, out of... Oh, and oh, the oh, very oh. nice lineup here from, from Arthur. It's gonna get the concave and all gonna get target fire on the one goodie. Oh, oh that's huge. Actually, yeah, Goody is losing this. Wow, nice micro battle from Arthur there. Oh, that's really, really bad for Goody. Especially um, on a yeah. map with very little high ground advantage possibilities. Yep. I mean, Always. the only high ground advantage you can get is on in the middle of the map. And oh, he stopped moving for a second. Uh, yeah, shot. But he, he pulls back, and now he has three Dragoons because yeah. there's actually distance you have to walk. You yep. Know, like, units just don't suddenly appear. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and but more units are ready to, over the map, and this ca oh oh dude, this dragoon learns to die. Okay, there we go. See a Templar archive out of Goody. Oh, he's getting he has Dark Templars already, but we have Robo facility for Arthur. This Arthur could actually maybe turn the series around with this game. I like this pylon. I don't know. I don't know. Robo facility, yes, but he is pumping three gates st uh, stalkers. He might not have enough time for the. Uh, for the DTs, uh, for the observers. Okay, the first DT should go past the Dragoons and straight into Arthur's main, and the second DT, he's not getting a second DT, he should have gotten a second DT. Oh, the Artosis pylon! 
No, he has to use the DT to defend now, and now it's going to be scouted or known known about. So he has to retreat. The observatory. He cannot even build an observatory yet because the row is. Oh, there we go. He's he's gonna make an observatory. But he has a very nice base setup, though. There's nothing the DT can kill easily to kill everything here. Might make a wall with a pylon wall. Three pylons. DT can't make. Oh wow! Very nice. He's gonna buy in the time, and he's meanwhile Goody knows the position is in, and he's actually gonna turn on expansion. But he needs a second Dark Templar if he's gonna hold all these dragoons when we out on the map. Whoa, that's a lot of dragoons. He really needs another Dark Templar. And Goody isn't making anything. I think Goody just lost. Yeah, yeah. He needs to pull the golds. Oh. <laughs> he's actually not focusing down the pylon. There we go. And the pylon will go down. And Artosis, the spirit is strong. Like his one dragoon is hiding behind the bush. <laughs> <laughs> and Arthur turns the series around. He only needs to win more one game to take this tournament and make me a poor man. All right. Well, well actually, you would, a, you would be a poor man anyway. Actually, it's not. Oh, let me though. I want to give a huge shout out to people who donated. We had overused chew toy donate thirty dollars. We had another anonymous donator donate so, some more as well. Oh, fighting spirit, go make. So, uh, so we've had a lot of donations too, and actually, those two donations in itself was almost enough for this tournament. But those donations also goes to to the Monday Night Star Wars, so so. We we still can't just live live off of, of donations, but it helps a lot. Have we had fighting?